Hello everyone, welcome to my stop on the Lawn Fawn Fans Fall YouTube Hop. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello, thanks so much for dropping by and if you've been here before, welcome back, I'm so glad you're here. Just before we get started, I need to let you know that this hop has once again been sponsored, this time by Cat Scrappiness, and there is a $25 gift certificate up for grabs. All you have to do to go in the drawer for that is comment below. Tell me what your favourite Lawn Fawn set from the new release is. This is an international giveaway and the winner will be announced on the 10th of October. So let's have a look at what I made this time. If you've been following along on these seasonal hops then you would know that this is a little bit unusual for me. It's actually a card and not a 3D project. But don't start worrying about me, I think I've already planned what to do for the next hop. But for now, let's get on to how I made this card. I used these stitched frames that I've had for a little while now. I haven't used them as much as I hoped I would, but they are perfect for this card. I used the little bears from the Poster Critters set, just some words from the You're Just My Type, the little girl from the Screen Time set, the new stitched den dies, and of course some of the new bears. I am in love with both sets of bears and so happy that I got them. All of my cards begin with stamping out my images, and as you can see, I've already stamped these bears. I make sure I stamp all of my images twice so that my lines are nice and dark and clear. And here I am just grabbing the frames and making sure that these bears do actually fit in there. With the way that I'm using these frames today, I need to keep in mind that I'm not using that inner stitched piece, so I actually have a little bit more room to work with than what you can see. And already I'm falling in love with how this is going to turn out. They are just so cute. And here I am just laying out those frames on my card base to make sure that everything's going to fit and just playing around with my layout. I think I change it about three times before I'm happy with it. After playing around with my layout for a bit, it was time to stamp the other images. So here I am stamping out the little girl and the little bears that I'm going to need for my background. So I've gone for a little bit of a fairy tale theme with this one. At this point, I was thinking, you know, the three bears, they all needed a bowl of porridge, but I changed that a little bit later. So here I am colouring in my bears, I'm using a mix of these Copics, they're just from a set of skin tones. After colouring I always add some cute little white details just to brighten things up a little bit and today I've also added some brown dots just to give these bears a little bit more texture in their portraits. I use a super simple method of colouring in, I just go in with one lighter colour and then over where I think there would be shadow with my slightly darker colour and then back over all of it with that first lighter colour to blend it out. It may be really simple, but it gives everything just a little bit of dimension so that it doesn't look so flat. So you may have noticed that I coloured these three little bears in the same way I coloured the three bears in the portraits. 
and that is because these little bears are going to be those same bears, 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 <laughs> that are going to be outside the window going for their walk as they do in the story. To create the rest of my scene, I just used a scrap piece of brown cardstock and trimmed it down to the right size for the flooring. The pattern paper that I'm using today is part of an Amy Tangerine paper pad. I was actually meant to use it for background in another card, but I changed my mind last minute and decided to save it for something else. To give my frames a little bit of texture, I went over them with some walnut stain Distress Oxide ink. This added just enough colour so that they didn't look too flat. So I had a bit of excess paper around these little bears that I needed to trim down. To measure that, I used the little inserts from the frame and just roughly drew around them and then trimmed them down. I needed this extra bit around the edges so that I could stick it behind the frames nicely at the back. You can already see how cute they are going to be in their little frames. It was then time to glue them in and because I had all that excess I could just safely place that glue around the edges knowing that it would fit. How adorable is that? I can't help but think that maybe a lot of my cards in the very near future are going to be lots of portraits of cute little animals. To help them dry flat, I just pop them under some stamp blocks. And this guy here is my favourite. He is just so cute. He looks like he's happily posing for his little picture. It's just so cute. So now you can see I have a few more images to colour in here. I've got little Goldilocks and I've got some furniture for the rest of the room to set the scene. I'm only showing how I colour in her because there is a lot of colouring in this card. I didn't realise how much until I've gone over all the footage of it. But that's kind of a good thing I think because a lot of the projects that I do share for these hops and on my channel in general are a bit complicated and I feel like if one is just all stamping and colouring then it's easy to replicate and you could totally make this card. This one actually came together really quickly for me so if it's something that you would like to make it's really not that tricky. So just take my word that I coloured in the rest of these things in a similar manner so that we don't have to sit through all of it. I mentioned earlier that I decided not to go with the bowls of porridge for these bears. I know the story is that one is too hot, one is too cold and one was just right. So I thought maybe drinks instead. So Papa Bear's coffee is too hot, Mama Bear's tea is too cold and Baby Bear's hot chocolate looks just right. I added some little details with these cups to kind of give that a hint. Now on to the rest of the scene. So this is where I decided my little window was going to be and I used the smallest of the stitch dens to cut that. Because this is a fall themed top I thought I'd better add something fall in this other than the colour scheme and the new release items. So I decided to put some of the little leaves in from the Let's Go Nuts stamp set. Using that tiny stitch den I then cut just a plain piece of white cardstock and a bit of scrap orange paper this was going to be for my ground outside, and then I just coloured in the part that was going to be the sky.
Using that same die, I also cut another piece of pattern paper, and this is going to be a rug that we're going to use a little later. Once that was done, I then coloured in the leaves and assembled that tiny little scene through the window. So there they are, the three little bears out on their walk, playing in the autumn leaves. I coloured in this cute little couch that someone had shared in the Lawn Fornatics group, as it was going to be the perfect size for little Goldilocks to be sitting on. Before I stick my card front down, I always stamp the inside of my card first in case it's messy or something goes wrong. For this card, I chose the sentiment, you're just my type. I thought it fit really well with the little hot chocolate being just right. With all of my elements ready to go, it was time to put this whole scene together. And just before I leave you with some music, I thought that I'd mention again that this hop is sponsored by Cat Scrappiness. They are a family-owned online business, and some of their things on their website are adorable. They stock their own line of dyes, including slimline dyes, which is really exciting because they're all the rage at the moment. So I highly recommend that you check it out and make sure you comment below so that you go in the drawer to get that $25 gift certificate. And there we have it, my card is complete. I really love how this one turned out. That bear in the top right is just my favorite. He's so cute. I really hope you like this card too. And I hope that you'll follow along and hop to all the other stops. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this card. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my work. Bye for now.